Hello, darlings. Happy Wednesday to all of you out there. And welcome to Let's Build the World. <laughs> and welcome to part two of Blossom Creek Park. We are going to be cracking on with the church today, darling, as Jesus would have done back in the day of Jesus' time. That is what we are going to be cracking on with today. To put that into layman's terms, landscaping, graveyard, you know, just all the general things that a church brings to us in our time of need. Um, <laughs> oh God. Anyway, for goodness sake. So yes, that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, this park's going to take a long time. I can tell you that much because there's going to be lots of landscaping I'm going to do parts here and there off of camera like I have done already. I've done a few parts, a few bits off of camera for today. Um, but I will, as always, show you what I've done. So, yes, um, for the rest of the week tomorrow, we've got a Design Me Devon come in. And then on Friday, we're going to be meeting back up with Beryl for some more Beryl adventures. And then do not forget, I'm going to keep repeating myself all week. I'm taking a week off next week. There may be a video coming next week, um, but you guys will see that when it does come out. Um, but yes, that's it. I've got nothing else to say. Let's flop into game and start building. Okay, loves, here we are. We're back at the park. Um, thank you to you guys as well that said about the bell from um, Vintage Glamour. Fits in perfectly there. Do love it. Um, changes from last time. I've just moved out the landscape. I've tiered this landscape here. We're going to do, we're going to start off with this, I think, today. Um, just to put some nice flowers up here, some nice bushes and whatnot. Just make this look quite, I don't know, just overgrown and lovely. I've also smoothed out the actual little graveyard area that we're going to be doing. Um, little pathway up to here with a nice little bit of stonework going on there. I've made a start on the landscaping on this hill, but I've yet to finish that. Um, and I've also made this little platform here. Now, my thoughts were, this is a bit steep here, so I'm going to smooth that out a little bit more. But my thoughts were, this could be a nice place to have some, like, park benches and some trees and stuff up on here. Just so it's kind of at an elevated level and it's got quite a nice view from this part here, too. And this can kind of overlook the farmer's market as well, what I'm going to do around here. I'm still going to raise up this terrain slightly, but I thought that would be a nice spot where you could, like, yeah, you know, you know. Um, and I think I'm going to widen the path here as well. So we've got a nice like little pathway going through there. So we've got, yeah, you, you know where we're going with this. Um, but other than that, I really like the look of the church. A few of you didn't like the door. I do. And that's all that matters. So I'm keeping the door. The door's staying. I like how the door looks with it. Um, so I'm doing that. I've also put some wood in here as well. The only one that, the only wood that worked really was the diagonal one because this church what i mean by a diagonal is this wood piece here so okay, from vampires um and because it, all the other wood was going diagonally because you're building on a diagonal and i hate building on a diagonal um also added some lights in and then i put a beam at the top here as well with a little like thing up here i think i'm just gonna put an organ up there you won't be able to go and get to it as such but i'm just gonna put it in there anyway in fact you know what i'm gonna do that now i'm gonna do it now loves gonna do it now organ and knowledge no nope, that's a heart <laughs> that's that's a heart darling um parlor organ is that what it's called oh that's it there look that's it there i mean they can't get up and use this but oh no it pokes out a bit look oh for goodness sake oh i can't oh it's gonna piss me off that can i just do that is that poking through there oh <gasps> just slightly look that would do for the minute. I might even put one of them down in the church anyway. Let's do that as well. I'm going to probably do a darker brune one. Um, and I'll put the organ maybe over in the corner here. You know, right at the edge there. Ah, oh, for it. Yes. Yes, indeed. So as I said, what we're going to do, we're going to start on this little area here. Start landscaping in this. Thought against the idea of doing some like mausoleums. I know this is supposed to be New Orleans. I know that. The graves and everything is above sea level because of the sea level. Blah, 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 blah. But this is The Sims. So I'm not going to do that. Sorry, not doing it. Absolutely not doing it for this one. Would like to do that uh, build of that kind in the future, though. Um, 
doing like some crypts and stuff that would be really really cute idea so maybe we'll think about that for Embridgeton Bay or something or another world but not for here not for here we're doing a little mini um graveyard normal looking graveyard in this area yes we are indeed so the grass is on the wrong bits really what I'm thinking about doing actually is putting this on that line so when the plants actually do sit on this part it doesn't look like it's kind of growing straight out of grass. Uh, and I'll probably do that on the corner's edge as well. Um, so it might take away a lot of this greenery. But we're going to be putting more greenery in anyway. So it doesn't matter. As you can probably tell. I've got a lot more energy from yesterday. <laughs> yesterday my batteries were flat. And I was not for it. But today I'm here. I'm raving. I'm ready to go. My tits are out. It's all going to be fabulous. Yes it is. Okay. I'm knackered. <laughs> I'm not good already. Oh, that terrain paint took it right out of me. Took it right out of me. So what I want to do here, I want to pop some colour here. Same with this area here. I want some like nice bushes. Maybe even a tree there. I think a tree would look great there, actually. So I think what I should do is go and pull out a whole array of beautiful coloured flowers. And I'll meet you back here in a chickadee bow. Okay, pulled out a few little bits and bobs here and there. Um, including this sign here as well. I thought this would be cute to have like as a what's going on in the church. Maybe they've got choir practice and community events and stuff. So I've put that one down there. I thought that one kind of fits in with the colour of the church as well, which is stunning. very much for it. So I think because we've used these throughout the whole of Willow Creek, I think it's only right that we do a little bit more of this. Now, what I really wanted to do with this. Oh, oh is it going to let me? Uh, I don't think it will. I may have to like pop it there and then move that down with the tool mod. We can do that together while we're here, you know. So we're going to elevate this down. Maybe a mine. Let's try, try a minus two. It'd probably be too much. Very much too much. We're going to undo that. <laughs> going to undo that, loves. <laughs> and we're going to try a one then and see what that does. That's still too much. I'm going to elevate that to an, with a 0 0.5 just to see. That's too much. Then we're going to do a little minus 0 0.0.2, if you would. Thank you. Oh, that's just perfect, that. That's just perfect. Yes. Yes, and that kind of wraps around there quite nicely. It's a little bit weird here, but I'm going to hide that with a bush. I'll hide that with a fucking bush, loves. That's what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. I'm doing my own head in. I feel very sorry for you. <laughs> I feel very sorry for you. <laughs> um, these kind of fit well with that bush because of the colours. Maybe I could like tear these down slightly. Uh, no, 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 no. I think we'll do this one and I'll flop you there and then I'm going to pull you down with the tool mod as well. Let me get this in because the tool mod's just going to be an asshole, isn't it? So give me one sec. There we go. Hides a multitude of sins, loves. Um, and that kind of looks a bit nicer now, like wrapping around there. I don't mind that so much. Yes, I'm for it. Fucking for that. I'm wondering if I should do that around here as well with that hedge. Maybe. Or maybe I'll just carry this greenery through here. Not too sure on that just yet. So these are the kind of plants that I do want to use here. Um, these ones actually go into the landscape not too bad for the Sims tool, for the Sims tool mod. The Sims don't have tool mod item. Um, for the Sims terrain tools. So I'm just going to use this one. Because it looks nice. I love the colour. Um, and I think it would look smashing to be honest. Absolutely smashing. No I don't think around there. Let's go over here a little bit further. Yeah. Yeah I think so. And then I'll wrap this one around this way. Um, I'm going to stop this looking too uniform when I've put plants and sort of shrubbery on it. So maybe this is very much looked after. Maybe the church um, collects money for their gardens and stuff so they can keep them looking nice. You can imagine that sort of thing. Um, can I change the colour of that one? Is, have we got an orange of that? That was just sticking out to me a bit weird then. I mean, it's got yellow. I mean, eh, it's okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Mm, yeah, I think it's this yellow, this orange that is, might be throwing me. It's very pretty, don't get me wrong. I just think the colour's throwing me here. I think the red might be a bit too bright as well. What well, if I just went for a white instead? 
Let me see that. The orange just looked nice, but it just pops out a bit too much, I think. Yellow. Yellow works a lot better for me, I think. Yes, we'll keep that. Okay. Right, I'm going to start placing these um, flower bushes just in little areas here and there. And then I'm going to go in and grab out some more grassy bits and stuff, I think. Um, and what I mean by that is like stuff that would just give it a bit of like hype. Hype? Height. Hype. Hype. I went with hype. Send help. <laughs> Please send help. <laughs> just some hype, you know? Just some hype. <laughs> what is a flower bush without some hype? <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeery, jeery, mate. Are you, why are you floating? There's a fucking square there, for fuck's sake. Um, I'm going to have to pop these in in all areas and then move them down with a tool mod. So let me see if I can, like, meander something to look quite natural from above. Um, Just to give it a bit more hype. <laughs> Height. Hype? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Right, okay. I can kind of envision that. Just trust the fish, loves. Trust the fish, and I promise things will work out. Oh, they're pretty. I've never even realised we've had them. What, is the, what are they from? Can't fucking see them now. Um, Where are you from? Oh, Island Living. Nice. Didn't even realise about them with the little red flowers on them. That's really cute, actually. I mean, it won't go there, but I do like them. I do like them. Right, need more things. Did a little bit of work off camera just so I could concentrate a little bit more. Um, and I've decided to put the hedge down here, but size it down as well. And then I've just littered loads of landscaping of flowers um, in those tones as well. I'm happy with how those tones have turned out. I may do another one of these up on this area, though, just to balance it. My offset is like, oh, for it. Very much for it. And maybe a little one in the middle, but we'll size it down just so it looks like it's kind of growing through there. Oh, yes. Yes, that's very nice. And then obviously, I put a little plant. It's not a plant, though, is it? It's a fence. I put a fence. I've got plants on the brain. What can I say? You know, so I've put a fence around this part here. And I just think that kind of would act as a nice separation now from the other areas that we're going to do here. And I think this is going to be like a little bit of a memorial garden over on this side here. I'm going to do a nice little memorial garden. Um, and I think right at the front here is probably where I'm going to do like a picnic area. Maybe a little pathway going all the way around into the memorial garden. With a nice little picnic area around here. Because um, the farmer's market is going on that side. And then this is going to be like a children's play area with the water fountains coming from the floor. And well, We've got lots to do, loves. We have got lots to do, but this is going to be nice. I'm going to enjoy just building a com like a community lot for you know what I mean? Oh, and a community garden. I do want to get a community garden in here too. So that needs to happen also. Um, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to start on the actual graveyard area itself. Now, I'm not going to make this a massive graveyard. I'm probably going to fence this area in, to be honest with you. I don't know yet. Maybe not. We're going to see what happens. But what I need to do first is just pull out some stuff, like some gravestones and things. So give me a, give me a sec. I pulled out a few bits. Found this thing here as well, which is from Cats and Dogs. I think that looks really cute over there next to the tree. I do want this graveyard to be kind of crowded. So I will be doing like little mixtures here and there. Maybe a few newer looking graves. Um, and maybe some cats and some dog graves as well. Some pet graves. I think that would look... Um, well, not cute because it's not a cute thing to really look at, is it? Even though there's something about a graveyard for me. I find them so peaceful. I don't know what it is. I just find them so, so peaceful. And I know a lot of my friends feel the same way as well. Um, because a lot of my friends are goth. <laughs> and I'm not stereotyping. I have a lot of goth friends. And they do love a graveyard. You know? So many years in my teen youth was us spending our times in a graveyard. Now, I say, will say if you're going to be respectful and spend your time in a graveyard, um, then do so. But just make sure you remain respectful do not like trample over the graves and whatnot i know you won't but do you know what i mean i just think it's nice i think it's a, a place where i don't know it's peaceful it's a place to come and remember people and um, even if you don't know them yourself like there's some graves that would have been 
there for hundreds and hundreds of years and none of their family may even be around anymore um but if you go and visit them it kind of i don't know I just, do you know what i mean i hope i hope somebody does out there i hope somebody does right so is there any like different colored ones of these or are these all the same what's this oh christ that's massive that's massive i think maybe a few more of these ones out here as well which are the ones from vampires so i am going to crowd this area up slightly so it's probably not going to be that realistic but um you know sims what can i say sims i'm going to leave a gap there so there is like a little walkway coming through this way and then i'll add more of these gravestones coming in here um, let's try and not use the same ones over near each other. So maybe I'll do another little big number here. Is that the same one? They are, but they look vaguely different. Is it just the lighting? I have no idea. No idea. Maybe we want more of those slantier looking ones as well. The ones that look like they're sinking into the ground. Um, yeah, we like that. We do. We like that. And then maybe one more of these on this side here like that. Let me see that. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Pretty crowded. Pretty crowded. But that's what we're going to go for here. That is what we're going to go for. We're going to meander you over this way a little bit more, actually. Plop you to there. Where's that tree coming? I'll probably put some grass and stuff around there. Now, I'm not necessarily going to do a pathway through here. I think what I'm going to do is play around with the terrain paints um so what kind of terrain paints could i use here um let me have a little think scratch that idea i've got rid of the grave stones we had on this side and i think i'm just going to use this as the actual grave itself it's, i think blue's dreaming <laughs> he's barking in his sleep i don't think you can hear that but if you can how adorable blue wake up you don't want to be scared, love. Yeah, they look cute. I mean, as cute as a graveyard can look. But do you know what I mean? I think that looks a bit better like that. And then I can maybe pull this terrain paint a little bit more further this way. I had I had a vision and I went with it, loves. And I'm glad we did. I'm glad we did, loves. Very much glad. Yes, I am a judge. So I'm going to flop this all the way along to the edge of these. Um, and maybe size it down then and just skirt this one in here just by the little pet graves there i mean pet graves in a church i don't think that happens but sims again you know you're always going to get someone go that wouldn't happen it's like well i'm playing a computer game and it's my build isn't it thank you thank you very much <laughs> right so i do want to take this right to the edge of this one here and I might just encircle this hoe. Let me just make sure that the tree is not going to be there. Yeah, it is kind of there. So I'll just do it to like there. All the way to there, love. All the way to there. Yes. Yes, I enjoy it. I'm just going to make that a little bit of a harsh line. Meeting up with the grave's edge there. Perfect. Um, And then in the middle, we're going to do some earth. Earth. All the way along. On these parts here so i might even size it up actually and get the softness down a bit there we go all the way to here lovely stunning and then this one here absolutely gorgeous gorgeous yeah that looks better yeah i'm glad we did that i'm glad we went with that instead of what we had before because it was just like don't get me wrong you still see a crowded uh, graveyards my god don't you um i hope i remember to do this but editing aiden flop in a picture of the graveyard that you went to in cornwall quite recently actually when i went away with tom the last time it was beautiful it was overgrown by nature it was so gorgeous so so gorgeous and it was in this tiny little village in the middle of cornwall um it was lovely it really was lovely yeah, I think I'll mix up the stone around the graveyards and use this here. Mix it up a little bit and use this one in between. Do I want to do that or do I want to stick with grass? I want to stick with grass now that I've seen that, but I'm going to just make the grass look a little bit more dilapidated. <laughs> Dila you know, dilapidated. 
Can I make it a little bit more dilapidated? Just around the edges. I was just about to sing Pocahontas then. Just around the river bend. Enough. Enough of that. Um, and I think I'll probably have to carry on that stone on the wall behind it. Like that. Yes. Yeah, I think that's going to work. But I probably still will bring in a bit more greenery around there too. Just so it makes it look a little bit more weathered, you know? Yeah, that's cute. I do like that. I do like that. Very nice indeed. I might even do a bench here. It'd probably be a great spot for a bench, wouldn't it? Bench in a graveyard reminds me of Afterlife, which is a series on Netflix with Ricky Gervais. Um, beautiful series. Absolutely. You will sob your tits out. Sob your tits out? Okay. Uh, you will sob your face off um, while also laughing your face off as well at the same time because it is absolutely hysterical. But also, I don't know, just really realistic. Completely how I would see grief, I think. You know? It took a turn for the emotional side here, loves. And I'll tell you what. I'm kind of for it. Right, I'm just going to do that all soil there. Because I will be putting some plants and stuff on that too. Um, and I do want to use a few more of those. Yeah, these here. Just because of the climate that we're in. Um, and also there are some around the world. Look, so I do want to kind of blend it in slightly too. Which, uh, which will be nice. So let's do this. Lovely. Lovely. Yes. Yes, I'm for it. Very much for it. I might even flop one more of these up here as well. You watch. Everyone's going to be coming to the park and pissing in the bushes, aren't they? Um, we need to make sure to put some toilets in as well. But we've got some of those pre-built ones that I'll probably try and squeeze in somewhere. Even though there is some toilets. Yeah, there's some over there, look. There's some toilets there too. <gasps> maybe I won't put toilets. Or maybe just one. Maybe one loo. You know? Might do that. Okay. So I think we should pop some flowers on a few of the graves. Um, I could probably put a wreath on it as well, couldn't I? Um, let me find a flower. Oh, they're here. Didn't even need to look too far, loves. Let me see if I can put a flower wreath on one. Um, yeah, and I'll lift it up just slightly. Pop it just... Oh, I suppose they wouldn't put it there. It would lie on the floor. Let me put it at an angle. I'm going to put that at an angle with tool mod, actually. So I'll do that in just a second. Uh, let's put a couple of bunch of flowers on other things as well. So maybe something like this. I mean, if that was on my grave, I'd be fuming. I won't lie. Fucking orange slices in it. My hand would come out and be like, oh, get that away. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> Uh, but saying that, I don't think I'll be bur buried. I'll probably go down the route of um, cremation. Morbid talk here, but I probably would. Probably would. Right, what I'm thinking, now I'm seeing this, I think I need to add a little bit of like this around in places. Just again, to make it look a bit older, you know? A little bit older. Let me pop this like down like there. Um, yeah, around on this side here as well. Just a little patch there. Yeah, that looks nice. Oh, yes, I'm under here too. I'm under there. Loves that. Love that. And maybe for here, what I could do is... Where would I find them? Here we go. I'm going to put a little pet ball on this. Um, maybe it was his favourite ball and his owner put it up on there. Oh, I'm going to cry. Stop it. Absolutely stop it. Um, yeah, that's cute. I like that. That's kind of blended in nicely now. You know what I mean? I do like it. I do. Okay, up here, I think what would look great would be a couple more benches. A couple more benches up here would look really nice. Just on the side of the... By each window there. Place to come and reflect. And again views out. I mean, that would be a great view as well, wouldn't it? You know? Got the creek down there. I'm all for it. I'm all for it, loves. Really am. And I think what would probably be best here, maybe you put a bin in here. Just like a little outdoor bin. Not going to be the most attractive thing to put in front of a church, but you know, you know what humans are like. They need bins everywhere. 
And even then, they don't pick up their shit. Because I noticed that so much, like on all the beaches and through these lockdowns and stuff. I, I hate humans. <laughs> I really do. Very much shade test. Um, okay, we're going to make our way off to this side and start doing this area. I'll probably do the landscaping on these hills, like on these slopes off of camera. And I'll show you that again when we get back to this next week. But we'll make a start on this area here and put some nice trees around this area. I think it's missing some trees over here. So let me pull out some trees and we'll make a start on this little part here. Okay, so I've pulled out a nice oak tree for there. I think that just fits this area nicely. And once there's trees all over this park as well... Um, it's going to be lovely. It really will. So I've put you there, but I've also put this one now. Do you hear blue then? Probably not. But anyway, this is a very, this is an urban legend, but it's kind of steeped in history, this tree. This tree is where they used to do witch trials and they used to kill the witches off on this tree. Um, so that is what is, yes. Yes, it is. Urban legends um, forum. So that is where we're going with this one here. Very much an urban legend. But we could even... Can we make this lot haunted? We could. We could make it haunted. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm absolutely going to do that. We'll make this lot haunted. Why not? You know? Um, but yeah, this is where all like the villagers would hang around down here by the church. And watch what would have gone on on the trees. I'm not going to say it because of trigger warnings and whatnot. But you know where we're going with that. Um, the gallows tree, we'll call it. The gallows tree. Spooky jokey. <laughs> anyway, so let's put some benches right next to it. <laughs> Just for some morbidness, you know? Just for some morbidness. Is that floating? Of course it's fucking floating. It's The Sims. Nowhere near it. Absolutely nowhere near it. Um, I'm going to do this on camera. So we're going to put you down to there and you. Elevation, I think maybe a 0.1 or 0.2, it might be okay. Oh, I did, I bloody didn't put me minus on, so I need to do a minus 0.4 now. Um, has that gone into the ground? It has, so I need to elevate it. Maybe a 0.05. There we go, perfect. And now what I'm going to do is maybe move them both in a little bit more. Hmm, this might be a bit difficult. Let me see where that tree is. That's perfect. There we go. There we go. Toggle group. Stunning. Get rid of tool mod. Yeah, that's perfect. So a nice little area there. Benches. Probably need to put another bin over this side here as well. So I'm going to flop a little bin over this side. I'll put it right next to there if it doesn't float. I don't think it will, but there we go. Oh, I'm kind of for that. And I think to finish off on this little area here... I think some like nice, oh no, I don't think they're in there. Some nice like flower planters would look really lovely. Um, so let me go into the flower planters. Let me see if I can find those big long boys. I think they're quite near the bottom. Here they are. Here we are. Let's get rid of you. And we're going to flop you here. You might be a bit, I know you, I thought they were going to be too big then, but they're actually not. Um, I'm going to plop one there. One there. And we'll do another one on this side here as well. Excuse you, tree. I can't see what I'm doing. Let me see that. Oh, I think they look a little bit too big, actually. I think they are a little bit too big. I'm going to size them down slightly. Um, and I'll flop one in here as well. There we go. Yes. Yes, that's cute. And do you know what? It probably needs... Some kind of lighting up here. So maybe a lamppost of some descript. Now what lamppost would we use in this world? Have we got any around this lot at all? Not really. They probably need to look kind of Victorian. Um, So maybe I could go down the route of using... Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? And it's got... Uh, does that even give light out of it though? I mean, kind of. It doesn't glow like the uh, the ones in the actual... Oh, that's nice as well. That's very pretty as well. I kind of prefer the ones with the hanging baskets on though. So I'm just going to choose it in that. And put a nice little tree and a nice little light under that tree too. Now, as I said, I'm going to do all of this here off of camera. Just get all of that landscaping here off of camera. Um, done off of camera. Same around here as well. I'll get all the trees and that floating all through this church. Stunning, stunning. So next week we'll come back. Oh no, not next week. Sorry. <laughs> Keep forgetting I'm away. 
So when I'm back, we'll come back and we'll crack on with a bit more of this park area. So I'll just go through it with you once again. We're going to do a nice farmer's market around here. That's going to be kind of semi-raised up. I just do want a nice like sloped area with some hedges and stuff around it. Maybe a meandering path up to it. We're going to do a park, a kid's park with a fountain. I do want to do some kind of community garden around here as well. Um, and then over this side, I want to do that kind of memorial, like meandering garden with picnic areas. And it's just going to be a fun place for your Sims to come and hang out in. It really is. But um, I hope you like what we've done so far. But for today, we're done. There we go, my beautiful friends. We are all done for today. Blue has heard me change my voice. There he is. He's ready. He's ready to go. He knows he's going out now. Um, but we're done. We're done for today. So as I said, I will be back with Design Me Devon tomorrow. I will be back with Let's Build the Worlds when I come back from my holiday. Um, but other than that, I'm going to leave you now. Thank you so much for watching, my darlings. Comments down below and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.